Okay, so we're gonna work down, yes? Today I'm taking Holly to a self-defense class because I'm sort of hoping this is gonna help her like if she's in trouble, you know? I find this so bizarre to be honest with you. Why, why have your woman moved to South Africa if you have all these fears about your country? Why not then make the logical choice of then moving to the, the States? Now, I mean, sadly, when it comes to safety, I'm not going to sit and say that America is more safe than, than South Africa per se, you know, because we know about all the, the, the gun violence that happens on a daily basis, you know, depending on which part of America they live in. Because I do understand that maybe there are certain parts that maybe just not as much, you know what I mean? But it is still a thing. But the matter of fact is, though, the way this guy is talking about South Africa, he definitely makes it sound a whole lot more worse than the States. So why not just move them instead? You know, because... There's something else that he says later on in this episode, and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, interesting. But basically, she's never gonna be, never gonna be, never gonna be safe. But we'll get there when we get there. But for the time being, I know you're here, which clearly means you want to subscribe and you want to like, and you want to hit that like button. Please go ahead. Let's get into it. Like I know that you always have the best intention with me. But what's it gonna take in your mind to, to say that I'm capable enough to go out by myself or jog or you know whoop? Listen, these these questions being asked by Holly are very, very crucial because the fact is Holly can't continue to um, be in a be, be, live, live in an environment where her partner says that you can't breathe, basically, you know, because that is the energy that he gives, you know, like last week he called her a prostitute pretty much, you know, uh, because the way she dressed. Well, he, well, he may have never, never necessarily called her that necessarily directly, but he did say that because the way you dress, people will think you are, which is one hell of an insult to be honest for me personally if i was in her position i would have walked out but for some reason her mom said oh he didn't mean it in that negative way which he didn't but either way though it is a vile statement but either way though it's just crazy because everything about their relationship so far has been about the safety of holly you know we, we go away from the fact that we heard about the dogs that he had in there got shot you know um obviously while she's away he then made um adjustment to the house to make sure that there was some sort of security um spray if somebody went into the garage windows obviously being blocked off all that kind of stuff and now he wants to take her to fight in for her, for her to learn self-defense which is fantastic but then also at the same time now he's also saying that pretty much you can't really breathe around here because something may happen to you like why would you want to bring your woman into a neighborhood like this why would you want to have a woman and then have her in this situation why not they just move to where she is or move to a, another place within your country that is safer which is something that holly has already alluded to prior anyway but when it comes to this guy here it's always like something he's got they, 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 there's always an if there's always a but hmm. so that's i lost one of my biggest contracts i had these people used to give me up to sometimes eight nine jobs a day holly knows what happened to an extent so my man had a job prior and the job that he had once upon a time was a job that uh well obviously paid well but obviously he's now lost it and he hasn't necessarily told holly the truth about it so obviously right now, I can, now I know why Holly's been pushing for them to move somewhere that's a bit more, um, a bit more fancy and a bit more protected though, that are obviously the gay communities. And the reason why is because Germany speak, when they met, he had this amount of money because he had this certain job. But because he doesn't have that anymore, that is why he does want to move to a gay community. So much that he ends up pretty much telling Holly, well, this is what he tells her. Even in a gated community, it's not safe in a gated that's community. Not true because My friend got shot in an estate through, through the gates, like in his neck. So now he's gone as far as now saying that even the gay community isn't safe. It's funny because obviously when Holly first mentioned that prior, why didn't he say that then? You know what I mean? I mean, Holly does make the point where like, well, in her neighborhood where she comes from, she was more than able to jog in the late at night and um, there would be no issues because where she comes from is safe. You know, and obviously he's like, yeah, but that's America. You're in South Africa now. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? You're in South Africa now. So why not go to the States? You know what I mean? That's the most bizarre thing, to be honest with you. So that's why I feel like when it comes to this storyline, it's just weird to me. Because as far as I'm concerned, if I'm if I'm a man now, well, I am a man. <laughs> but if I'm in a relationship with my woman, I want her to live somewhere protected. And if, I, and if we have plans of having children in the future as well, I want us to live in a protected neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, I'm only going to want us to leave to live in the more safer area. I'm not going to want us to live in the more unsafe area. Now, of course, not everybody has that option. But in this situation, they, they have that option. She comes from a safe neighborhood. He does not. And I use my fingers like this purely because he's chatting a lot of nonsense, to be honest with you. Because I feel like, yes, the part he lives in probably is unsafe. But the gay community part, really? 
And the thing that I really dislike the most about Wayne in this season is that he's really portraying South Africa to be this like, to, 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 to be this war zone, you know, to be this country that, that has no areas where you can live safely and you can live, you know, happily and whatnot, which is far from the truth. Yes, South Africa has a lot of problems in a lot of their cities, okay? But they do have some parts of that country where generally you can be safe. You know what I mean? You can live a happy life and not have to worry about X, Y, Z. So the fact that he's the fact that he's more than happy to push this narrative quite irritating because that means anyone who's watching this who has very little information on South Africa or even Africa as a continent itself in particular, they're gonna be thinking, damn, South Africa's really unsafe, man. I never want to go there. When in reality, South Africa is one of the best looking countries that we have in the African continent. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, and he does have his so and he has so many of his royalties. But um at the end of the day, like I said before, for me personally, if this is the issue, then the logic is move to the States. Simple as one, two, three. If he's that paranoid about how she dresses, about the fact that she needs self-defense, okay, move to the States. So therefore, you don't need to be paranoid about how she looks, about how she dresses. You don't have to worry about her safety. But let's be real though. Everything that he's saying here isn't just because he's, he hasn't got any money or because he's or, or because he's now earning less. Everything he's saying is just coming from his own insecurities. He just, he just doesn't know, want her to be out by herself running because he doesn't want any other guys to talk to her. That is the real issue. And then also on top of that, the reason why he doesn't want her to, to be dressed in a sense of a type of way, it's not because she's like a prostitute, it's because he doesn't want any other guys looking at her because he does not want any other guys to come in and take his woman. And that shows how insecure he is with his own freaking confidence. This guy needs to learn to love himself and to be confident that he's good enough for Holly rather than trying to control every single aspect going. And that's why I guess the option of moving to America isn't there because in reality, the issues that he's saying really aren't that deep i mean we've noticed this before this guy is a control freak because he's a control freak this is the kind of basis he's going to come up with but listen i'm not going to sit and say that yes he's lying about his friend being shot and whatnot i i i mean no business to say that right but i'm definitely in the business to tell you that a lot of the things that he's saying are projecting the fact that he's insecure and he just doesn't want no one else around his woman and that's just the bottom line i was surprised that he even allowed someone to even to even fight with her in the uh, self-defense class to be honest with you you know what I mean? But hey, man, either way, really got to know, has always, what you all think down below. Do you think that he's speaking general truth or do you think he's just spinning certain aspects of his country so therefore Holly feels like she has to basically pretty much be with him every single time? And then when he's working, she has to stay at home because, of course, he can't afford her to leave the house by herself and get attracted from other guys while he's working and he's unable to obviously look over her, if you know what I mean. And it's not because protections because he's insecure mm. <laughs> yeah let me know what you're thinking but please don't forget to like subscribe and of course peace oh.